In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica and Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we come to thank once again God uh, for this blessing that we were able to come inside the Shrine of Our Lady of Manawag that happens to be now in front of us down from her throne. And we pray especially for our needs. So let us continue praying for each other, especially those who are suffering now in this time of pandemic, those who are in need not only financially but especially of our love. So my dear friends, let us Recommend our friends, our loved ones, those who are affected by this pandemic to the Lord. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed at that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, as so is God. How devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behaved toward you, believers. As you know, we treat each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received it not as the word of man, but as it truly is the word of God which is now at work in you who believe the word of the lord thanks be to god you have searched me and you know me lord you have searched me and you know me lord where can i go from your spirit from your presence where can i flee if i go up to the heavens you are there if i sing to the nether world you are present there you have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. 
If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For your darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Please stand. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God, is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Who to you, scribe and Pharisees, you hypocrites? You're like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with, with hypocrisy and evil doing. Who to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites? You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now feel us what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kinumpara ng ating Panginoon ang mga pariseyo at ang mga skriba sa isang white was tomb, sa isang nitso, sa isang libingan. Na sa labas ang gagara nila lalong lalo na yung mga damit nila with tassels, with all the beautiful decorations, the color. At sa kanila mga ginagawa upang makita ng mga tao na sa harapan, sa mga kainan, nasa presidential tables at uh, kung magdasal eh nasa corner kung saan marami ang nakatingin ngunit ang kalooban ay ibang iba sa panlabas na kanilang pinapakita Kaya tinatawag sila na ating Panginoon, hypocrites. San ba nang galing ang hypocrites? Ang term, ang word na hypocrite. Ito ay nang galing sa isang Greek word nang sinimulan ay yung mga actor or actresses sa theater sa palabas kung saan sila ay nakamaskara nakamaskara 
Kaya sa kanilang acting, ang kanilang pinapakita ay yung kung sino yung ina-act nila. Kung anong role ng tao na gusto nilang gayahin. Kaya ang kanilang ginagawa ay gawa ng isang tao na nakatago. Hindi totoo na sila yun. Katulad sa mga drama sa mga Korean na uh, uh, TV na pinapanood natin, drama, yung mga pelikula na pinapanood natin, kung minsan naiinis tayo sa mga kontrabida, di ba? At uh, naalala ko eh, yung artista na kontrabida paglabas, eh, maraming mga fans ng bida na nag-i-hit sa kanya. <laughs> Sinisigawan siya. Bakit? Dahil pinakita niya ang tunay na pagka-maldita o tunay na pagka-kontrabida, ngunit sa role lamang yan. Dahil siya ay isang artista. At ganun din sa theater. Kaya ang tawag sa mga actors at actresses sa theater, they are called hypocrites. Mga hypocrites. Which later on, the English Dictionary adapted and decoded hypocrites. So who are hypocrites? Hypocrites are persons who acts in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs or feelings or promises. Yung mga tao na pagpakita lamang ang kanilang mga paniwala. Ngunit sa totoo, hindi nila ginagawa. At ito na yun ang nakita ng ating Panginoon sa mga teachers of the law, the scribes, and the Pharisees. They are called hypocrites. Kung maalaala nyo, yung sa templo, yung dalawang tao na nagdadasal, the Pharisee goes in front of the altar and thank God that he is not just like this publican who is sinner because he contributes, he fasts and abstains, and he prays. Whereas the publican who is at last, at the door, not cannot even look up the heavens. And that is because he is not worthy according to him, because he is a sinner. So Jesus called these people hypocrites. Yung mga nag papakon wari lamang mabait kapag may tao masungit at cruel kapag nasa bahay tinatawag din ng ating mga ng ating pino na hypocrite yung mga tao na hanggang promisa lamang. Yung ba tao na masarap magsalita o matatamis ang mga dila kaya lang hanggang dila lamang. Wala sa gawa. Walang kamay ng 
gumagawa. Mga kapatid, sa panahon ito, maraming mga hypocrites At ito siguro ang dapat ating bantayan. Maraming nagsasabi na kapag siya ay mananalo, lalong-lalo na sa politika at lalong-lalo na sa darating na eleksyon natin, maraming mga hypocrites ang lalabas. Kaya dapat bantayan natin ang ating mga sarili na we will not be uh, followers, become followers of those empty promises that they will promise us. Kapag ako minalo, I will protect our country. Kung ako manalo, walang corruption, walang drugs. Nakakalungkot, bakit ang katunayan walang nangyayari? So sana po, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, sa panahon ng pandemic, ipagdasal natin ang ating bansa, lalong-lalo na ang ating simbahan, na sana po ang mga leaders natin ay hindi gagaya ng mga scribes and Pharisees who are hypocrites. Tingnan natin, ipagdasal natin dahil masyado nang mahirapan ang ating mga kababayan. Masyado na tayong nahihirapan sa panahong ito. Pagdasal natin na sana po hindi lamang salita ang kanilang magagawa. Ngunit gawin nila sa gawa. Let us continue praying for each other. Let us continue praying, especially those who are suffering. Yung mga apiktado ng pandemic na ito, yung mga may sakit, mga may sakit, at lalong-lalo na yung mga nag-serve, yung mga frontliners natin. Let us be honest to ourselves. Let us be honest to correct what is wrong. Huwag tayo magsunod-sunuran lamang. Huwag natin i-affirm ang kanilang pagkahipokrito. Huwag tayong madala sa pera na pinagbibigay sa atin. Ipagdasal natin sila. Na sana sila ay maging tama at totoo sa kanilang mga promesa. Please stand. We ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our action. Let our response be, Lord, read our hearts and answer us. Lord, read our hearts and answer us that in our lives as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That we may avoid doing things out of the desire to conform or out of hypocrisy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
read our hearts and answer us. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. In silence, we offer now our personal intentions and prayers, the intentions of this Mass, and let us keep praying for one another. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard the Master of the Order, the religious and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the severe's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter me. under my roof, but Lord, only say the word, the and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please stand. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, 
and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagvinerbasilica.org at Online Pamisa, where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. I would like to thank you also for your presence, especially during this celebration. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you also for our uh, YouTube and Facebook viewers as well as our radio listeners. Let us continue praying for one another. Let us continue praying that each one will be honest enough, especially for the good of one another. We continue praying for our frontliners, just like our commentators and uh, lecturers here, our assers and uh, security guards, and also for our radio staff. Maraming maraming salamat po at ingat tayo sa ating pagbalik sa ating mga tahanan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember in silence the names of your loved ones who are sick. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. To be kind to our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.